What up? Let's get to it. So this week, it is time for KJ Osborne, time for Jordan Addison, TJ Hawkinson to step up. Oh, no doubt. Heavy. It is time for them to put on a show and blend well with Justin Jefferson, man. <laughs> it is time for them to step up their game, elevate. Now, they had some big moments so far this season, but at the end of the day, it hasn't been enough and it hasn't been consistent. Now, you can say different game, different situations, different circumstances. Nah, man, kill that noise. They need consistency from Jordan Addison and KJ Osborne and TJ Hawkinson. The highest paid tight end in the NFL, dog. Step the hell up, bro. KJ Osborne, whether he's a two or three, Whatever the Vikings believe, we know Jordan Addison is the better receiver. This is no disrespect, period. <laughs> they all can contribute in their own way. But truth is, right, what is obvious, Jordan Addison should be the number two, KJ Osborne the three. Nothing wrong with that. It's just facts. That doesn't mean KJ Osborne can't eat. That doesn't mean Jordan Addison can't continue to eat. Heavy. Let's not get it misconstrued, huh? Everybody can eat, but... TJ Hawkinson as well, they all got to step up. Jetta's going to do his thing. Jetta's going to ball. But when the competition rises, it will get harder. Jetta's may not put up those numbers versus the Chiefs. Do I think he will? Yeah. But potentially, it's a chance that he won't. The Chiefs are well coached, disciplined. Their defense is young, fast. They fly around. They got corners who can play, right? Andy Reid, one of the best coaches in history. They got a solid D coordinator. You understand? So their defense is legit this season. Heavy. So I'm sure they're going to have a game plan for Jettas to try and shut him down. Double team brackets, triple coverage, all that. Now, here recently, KJ Osborne, Jordan Addison, TJ Hawkinson haven't done enough. Especially last week. It was a Jettas ball game. And that's all fine and dandy against the Panthers. That may work good against the Panthers. Will he be able to put up those same numbers this Sunday versus the Chiefs? It's a different animal. It's a different test, baby. Different level. Totally different. This is a championship standard. Super Bowl championship team trying to get back. Whose quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, is the best quarterback in the NFL. He hasn't been performing well. <laughs> He hasn't been at his norm, right? Putting up big numbers. He's making mistakes, throwing bad balls. So what a perfect opportunity for him to get his game up. Eat heavy this game. Oh, you think he's not thinking about that with the Vikings? That's what every team thinks. This is a get right game. Heavy, like it or not. And the Vikings have earned, the, earned that right for people, teams to think that way. Until they really prove it. That they're not pushovers. They can win a big game. They have a quarterback who can lead them all the way. Defense can stand stout, perform at a high level, not get gashed in the run game. <laughs> They're going to continue to get disrespected until they prove it. But trust me, believe me, Patrick Mahomes, he's ready for the Vikings. I, I guarantee he thinks this is a get right game, period. Just like Jalen Hurst did, just like uh, Justin Herbert did, baby. <laughs> Baker Mayfield, no respect, straight disrespect. So it's up to the Vikings, right? Period. So Jordan Addison, KJ Osborne, TJ Hawkinson, it's time to step up or shut up. And it's also on Kevin O'Connell to incorporate plays to get them in the mix, feed them the ball, open up the field, stretch the field, free Jettas. Every game won't be easy getting Jettas the ball, force-feeding him. It won't work every time. You have to have a different game plan. You have to have a different game plan, baby, just in case it doesn't work. Now, so far, so good. Jettas been eaten. But what happens <laughs> that game where he may be on lockdown, maybe not even lockdown, but double coverage the whole game, right? Triple coverage, whatever it takes to stop him. That's when... K.J. Osborne, Jordan Addison, T.J. Hawkinson will have to step up, man. It's inevitable. It's no way around it. They're going to have to perform at a better level, right? More consistent as well. Like I said, you can't have one week, you play spectacular, ball out. Next week, you come, you fade away. You're nowhere to be found. 
like finding wall, though, baby. That's what it has. That's the situation it has been for Jordan Addison. KJ Osborne. I would say more KJ Osborne than Addison, especially Hop. What did he do last week? Come on, man. You the highest paid tight end in the NFL? You got to do more. Period. Bottom line. And he got to make up for them fumbles. Yeah, them soft, fast fumbles. Period, baby. <laughs> Stand on that. Let's get it. You making that much money? Do more, dog. Do more. And he know it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he know it. Period. And if he don't, he's delusional. But it's going to be on KOC to dial up the right plays. Free Jordan Addison. Go to, go to KJ Osborne. They both have proven they can make plays. So it's on the coaches as well, Wes Phillips, to get TJ Hawk in the game, even Josh Oliver, to get them involved early and often. We're going to see what happens, man. But that will be key, imperative, especially Jordan Addison. <laughs> he got to get right. I feel like he can bring more to the table. He could be a 100-yard-plus receiver a game as well. It's enough for the football to go around, baby. Kevin O'Connell, open it up. Let it rip. That's play calling. Setting up mismatches. Heavy. Now, of course, Jordan Addison has things to work on. He needs to get off that press better. He has to be become a better run blocker, right? <laughs> he has to be way more efficient at run blocking, you know, for the running backs. Or if it's a screen to Jettas, KJ Osborne. Overall, he just got to get stronger, more physical. But his game, natural talent, route running, exquisite level? Oh, man, that's no debating. He could be an elite receiver. Can he stay healthy? Can he improve? Period. Now, down the line, further in the season, especially if the Vikings make it to the playoffs, right? That press, that physicality, he got to improve that on the fly, baby. Like we know, playoffs, whole different season. Different animal, it gets ugly, it gets muddy. It gets physical out there. <laughs> it gets real on that field. Heavy. Real money involved, too, <laughs> But Jordan Addison, you got to step up, man. Him, KJ Osborne, hot once again. Period. He shouldn't get called Big Hawk until he do something. Period, man. So we're going to see. Like I'm going to keep saying and reiterating, we're going to see if the Vikings bowed it, bowed it, what they stand for. But they're going to need big games from their receiving core, not just Jettas. Everybody got to elevate, elevate, baby, on a high level. That's my take, my opinion on it. Let me know how you feel about it. Big score here. Score Vikes forever. <laughs> yeah.